As the metaverse is coming, we are about to exist in two worlds at the same time. The first is the world that we are already familiar with. It is physical, tangible, and real. The second is a virtual world where anything is possible. It'll be like playing a game, but you'll be inside that game. If you already have a VR headset, you know what I'm talking about. But the truth is, is that most people haven't been inside a virtual reality yet. Currently, there are companies like Oculus with its Oculus Rift and Oculus Quest VR headset, which provides the immersive experience of being inside a game and interacting with the virtual world using the current touch controllers. But even this will soon be history, as Meta, the company behind Facebook, Oculus, and Metaverse, is working on something groundbreaking. A special glove that allows you to feel whatever you touch inside the Metaverse, or any other virtual reality world. With these VR Meta gloves, you'll literally feel anything you place your hands on. Join us today as we explore the endless possibilities of immersion in Facebook's Metaverse and take a deep dive on one of its most innovative technologies yet, the Meta Gloves. Ready Player One is considered the Bible of the Metaverse for a good reason. In the movie, we were practically handed the blueprint of an ideal virtual world and its boundless possibilities. For many companies in the VR AR space, there has been an unspoken race towards exploring those possibilities. However, complete immersion sits at the very top of their priority list. To understand how complete immersion in virtual spaces can be achieved, we need to consider how we interact with our physical world. The way we determine the tangibility of a world is the sensation it gives our senses. If an alarm wakes you up in the morning, you have engaged your sense of hearing. When you open those heavy eyelids, you engage your sense of sight. And when you slam that lousy alarm with your fist, you engage your sense of touch. On a basic level, this is all that is required for you to believe that you are in the real world. All of that happens on a subconscious level. But the moment you touch something and you do not get any stimuli back, your conscious mind kicks in and you reckon that something is very wrong. In the metaverse, a lot of advances have been made in the departments of realistic sound and sight perception. However, the most exciting innovation has to be the Meta Gloves. For seven years, Meta has been working secretly on a haptic glove that will replicate the sensation of touching, feeling, and holding in the metaverse. You will be able to feel sensations like grasping an object or running your hand along a surface. For the moment, Zuckerberg has stated that the technology is not yet ready for consumer use. You can even tell from the bare-bones look of the device. But we have been given enough of a preview to know what Meta's vision of VR and AR interaction will be. Meta's Haptics prototype is a glove that is lined with around 15 ridged inflatable plastic pads, which are also known as actuators, and they fit snugly on its user's palm. When you think of it, the glove follows the basic principles of a regular VR controller. It has white markers like the ones you see in motion capture that let cameras track how the user's fingers move through the space. However, that is where all the similarities end and where the mind-blowing features of the Meta Gloves takes off. The gloves also have internal sensors that are sensitive to pressure and capture when and how the user's fingers bend. When you slip these gloves on in a VR AR experience, the levels of inflation in the actuators adjust accordingly to what the virtual object is being held, touched, or felt. This creates pressure on that part of your hand. If you're touching a virtual object with your fingertips, you'll feel the sensation of that object pressing into your skin. If you're gripping a virtual item, the long finger actuators will stiffen, creating a sensation of resistance. These sensations work alongside visual and audio cues to produce the illusion of physical touch. This is a long way from the single finger actuator that Meta developed in 2015 after buying Oculus from Paul Marlucky for $2.4 billion. One of the most progressive innovations in this tech is its movement from bulky motors to soft robotics. However, unlike other haptic devices, Meta is more inclined on mass market gloves as opposed to producing for industrial markets. However, one of the more fascinating things is that the gloves are not only controllers being created for the Meta experience, but in 2019, Meta also acquired EMG wristbands, which is a device that tracks the movement through nerve signals. There are many things that the EMG gloves are capable of. However, one of the most impressive features is their ability to track the nerve signals your brain sends to your fingers while you're typing. This means that you can type on a virtual keyboard without physical buttons, and over time, the bands can slowly adapt to the way you type. While EMG bands are unique, they are best suited for other purposes other than for immersion in the metaverse. At the moment, there are a couple of barriers that stand in the way of creating consumer-ready haptic gloves. One of those barriers is the density of the gloves' actuators, those inflatable ridged plastics we spoke of earlier. At the moment, the number of actuators in the gloves is hardly up to 100, but Meta wants to pump those numbers up to a few thousand in the coming years. The reason why this is important is because of the intricate perception of touch it gives. For example, an engineer in Meta's research lab, Catherine Healy, was quoted saying, You could pet a dog, but you couldn't feel the texture. She was referring to the fact that the limited numbers of actuators on the glove won't allow for complex touch feedback. Another roadblock on the way to full realization of the Meta gloves is size. 
The current prototype of the Metaglove has the same feel the early versions of the Oculus Rift had. They were bulky, tethered, and big. Meta wants the device to be wireless, stylish, and so small that users can feel comfortable wearing it to real-world social functions that might not necessarily require the use of gloves. This is not too different from what they are planning for their Meta AR VR glasses. Then there's the issue of fittings and maintenance. On the other hand, Meta is hoping that the gloves will be easily designable to custom fit users through something like 3D knitting. And on the other, Meta has a vision of their gloves being like actual fabric, washable. VR devices like Manus VR have this quality already, and maybe Meta might be taking a page from their book. Then there are security concerns. Digital gloves like Meta's can compromise its users' privacy and overall security. In a world where biometric prints are part of our unique identity, a Meta glove is fully capable of harvesting, storing, and selling your information. It doesn't help that Meta, once known as Facebook, has a reputation that still looms over the company and hasn't yet been salvaged. When it comes to Meta, all security concerns are valid concerns. However, Meta has reportedly started creating policies that govern how much data leaves users' devices and who has access to it. Now, while the progress Meta has made in the quest for immersion cannot be diminished, there is still a long road ahead if the company wants to reach the level of devices in the Oasis. One way to think about it is this. What if there's a blizzard in the metaverse? How do you feel the cold on your body? These are the questions that companies like Tesla Suit have been trying to answer. They created one of the first full-body haptic wireless suits, and it has Ready Player One written all over it. The wireless haptic bodysuit is created by a UK-based company that claims its invention can allow users to feel sensations in the virtual world. Now, while the suit has been created mainly for industrial use, it is still worth noting because when the metaverse goes live, we might be seeing a commercial version of the suit. The bodysuit works by using integrated electromuscular stimulation, which can simulate the feeling of a gentle breeze to the impact of a speeding bullet. Now, you might be asking who would want to put themselves through that kind of torture, and we understand that, but you need to understand that the sensation is being simulated, not recreated. From a technical perspective, the Tesla suit is a series of sensors that allows its wearer to feel the sensation of touch and movement. While most VR headsets focus on the visual part of the virtual experience, there is hardly anything to stimulate the individual reaction to the action appearing before them on the screen. The Tesla suit fills that gap by stimulating muscles in response to whatever virtual action is being witnessed or taken. It is also able to adjust the temperature to mimic the virtual environment it is in. Okay, so having tackled the issue of body simulation, the next step on the table of complete immersion is movement. When you are in the metaverse, movement becomes tricky. You do not want to hit your head or bump into objects around you, so you become painfully aware of your immediate environment. A company called Etco VR might just have solved that problem. They created a pair of robotic boots called Etco One that they claim will keep you in one spot even as you move around in your physical space while experiencing the movement in the virtual world. The shoes are made up of carbon fiber design, which the company has said is lightweight. This is a relief because the shoes look bulky. Underneath the Etco One is two rotating plates that can twist to the direction the wearer is walking towards, which gives you the sensation of walking while keeping you in the same spot. There are also brakes that are employed when the user is standing, which ensure that they won't slip or fall. Now, while this solves the issue of walking in VR, the device does not support running, which is a huge letdown. Thankfully, another company has devoted all of its resources towards supporting both walking and running and they look like a direct replica of the device used in the Oasis. Omnidirectional Treadmills The most advanced omnidirectional treadmill on the market at the moment is the Virtuix Omni One, which started development in 2013. Along with the treadmill itself, it comes with low-friction shoe covers and a harness. The harness holds its users in place as their feet slide either quickly or slowly across the platform. It also supports jumping, which I feel closes the lid on immersion. The metaverse might not yet be ready, but the accessories that will make it complete are already in the works, and the most amazing aspect is that innovation in this sector is not limited to one company. Let me know your opinions below.